Hello everyone, my name is Ajaz Patel and I am from webfob.blogspot.com. Welcome to the part 31 of e-commerce website development in PHP with PDO. So guys, in last tutorial, we successfully fetch all the subcategories which is related to this main category. So in this tutorial, we will display when someone click on here or something else then it's display all the products here and also change this name and set this name directly from here and also change this subcategory to main category so let's come back on our code and here we are going to function.php then find the function about we all subcat look at here here is the function and uh, this is the link which is displayed here so now first of all we need to give the uh, page name like uh, cat detail dot php then question mark we create one get here we create get like sub cat id and equal to which means this get is equal to double code then concatenate operator then dollar row just because our variable name is row so we need to here define row then here database field name so our database field name is we need here subcat id okay so let's check our database what's the name okay i'm going to subcat table okay look at this now subcat id so we display we need to define here subcat id okay so now i'm going to browser refresh it again okay now just observe here when i hover on the list so look at here 16 then 15 then 14 13 and 2 okay so now we are targeting this get for our query so what i going to do I'm simply just copy this whole function of our cat detail which is previously defined by us. So I'm going to control C it and here I'm going to paste that whole code. Now I'm come back here and change the name to subcat detail. Okay, also change the here variable name subcat id. Uh, sorry, get name just because our get name is subcat id. Okay and also change here which is subcat id also change it from variable subcat id subcat id subcat id also change it from here okay and one more thing we need to change also from here display or uh, select all from products where subcat id which is available in our product table just look at here okay just look at here we have a one field subcat id so we need to target that field that field is also in our subcategory folder ah uh, subcategory table so here we need to also change subcategory id just because we need to define here subcat so here I'm going to write sub underscore cat id okay all are perfect now here I'm going to change this one from sub cat name copy okay so I change it to sub cat where sub cat id this time we don't need a cat id we need a sub cat id okay and we also change this cat to sub cat id okay so now what we are going to do we are changing this row main cat to row sub cat okay and here we need to also change sub cat name which holds our uh, whole our query okay so now row subcat okay so i'm going to copy this one from here and paste it from all another field okay 
also change it from here okay so now I'm going to control as to save and we need to define this function inside our source code and we need to put this function here after cat detail okay so I'm going to put that function there control as to save now I'm going to come back my code and I'm refreshing it okay so when I click on cup soccer set so when I click on it, okay, just look at here, undefined cat name, line number 201, so we need to check line, zero two, uh, line number 201, okay, here it is, yeah, just because our field name is sub cat name, yeah, so when I coming back and refresh it again, okay, also change it uh, 202, yeah, extra, Two zero two. Yeah, here it is. Just because our page name is row. Yeah, not a row. Subcat name. So I'm going to again refresh it. Okay, now cat pro line number two zero three. Line number two zero three. Okay, not a cat pro. Here we need to define subcat pro just because our query name is subcat pro. Again, refresh it. Okay, look at this now. Now the change uh, name is changed. Electron uh, crockery to uh, cup soccer set and also display all the products related to this sub category. Okay, so when I click on electronics and when I click on emergency light. So emergency light don't have any products, so it's display none, nothing. But when I click on here, team set also not uh, nothing. Power set is also nothing. Emergency light, LED bulb, nothing. So which means hey if that subcategory have some products though so those products are displaying from here okay so this subcategory have some products so it's display here also look, uh, just look at here and also when I click on here so it's display all the information about that product also click on here so display all the information about that product so now what we are going to do we need to change this subcategory to main category, main category just because we are already in subcategory so now here we need to display a category so how can we do that we are completely simply coming here now we need to copy this function from here by control C and paste this function from here change the name to view all cat okay so here i'm going to do this when someone click on our subcat id get just because our this get is subcat id okay so when someone click on here uh, subcat then oh sorry first of all you need to change the function name subcat or not a subcat we all get okay so now if someone click on subcat id then we need to create one variable like uh, subcat id which get uh, which target our get also change it from here subcat id now here we need to change the table name like main get because our table name is main get okay so now we don't need any condition here so simply we are just going to say okay so we also not need this one from here okay so like all from main cat okay so then fetch mode also change this variable to main cat okay also from it here main cat and 
main cat okay also need to change from here main cat okay so now we need to make some different here so view all cat so first of all let's check what happened in our browser when i am going to index when i going to here and when i click on here no products are display here and also oh yeah just because we don't display this function into our source code okay so come back to source code and here we need to uh, display that function okay so now i'm coming back when i click on electronic when i click on emergency light okay so here it is subcat id is undefined line number 227 yeah where is the function dot php line number 227 yeah here it is yeah just because we okay 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 so first of all um, not a subcat id here just because our main cat table have only cat id okay so when i going to refresh it again okay so again it's giving the error like 227 function dot php undefined index subcat name yeah also change it from here just because our database field name is cat name okay so when i going to refresh it again just look at here all the categories are coming perfectly okay so now when someone click on here it's come back again to electronic category so how can we do that we need to simply remove this subcat id to main cat id okay so subcat id is this so now when i click on here electronics again just look at this we are redirecting uh, to the electronic okay so when i change to different category and when i click on cup soccer set then i am going if i want to go soapies okay look at this now soapies have one product so it's display perfectly cup showcase okay so when i click on showpiece when i click on mux okay when i click on photo frame photo frame also does not have a sub category because we need to add that sub category for this this is for example purpose so i i insert only six product in my website so you can also insert more than more than more products in your website this is the example purpose i want to see you how can you do that so i'm i'm, I'm not adding sub category or this uh, or any extra products but you can also insert that products okay so when i click on here again it here again look at this now all the categories uh, okay we need to change the text also here so how can we do that we simply going to source code yeah here is our source code mm. now i'm going to function.php Mm, source code yeah here it is subcategory so now what we, we are going to do we just simply control x from here just because we don't need it here and go to uh, function.php and we will subcat uh, we will subcat yeah here it is i'm going to echo simply here that code okay so now what we are going to do we need to simply just copy this one from here and paste it this one from here and change the cat sub category to categories okay so now when i going to refresh okay look at this now categories okay so when i click on electronic it's a sub category and all the all these things are displayed when i click on emergency light it's display category and all the categories of these products okay so guys i think this is enough for today i yeah, hope you are guys are understand very well and perfectly better so guys 
if you have any question then comment below and if you like my video then like share and subscribe if you have any question then comment below facebook me twitter me on whatsapp me you can do anything i'm i will give the answer in 24 uh, 24 hour next 24 hour so if you have any question then comment below and do practice your code because practice makes man perfect and if you have any question then always ask me i will give the answer and perfect solution to you okay so guys stay connected with me stay tuned thanks for watching goodbye